I'm Ariel and we are at Red Brick Market. I'm Becky and this is our stall at Red Brick Market. We've met actually at the Maker's Market and the first one that we became friends with was at the Albert Dock. Really? Yeah. 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 When I started doing the Taylor stuff, it went really well with hers and she was like, do you want to get a stall together at Red Brick Market? And it, I didn't even have to think. I was like, yep, yeah. I'm from Wigan. Can you tell? No. <laughs> I'm obviously American. Um, I've been coming back and forth a lot um, for the past few years. My partner's from um, right outside of Preston. Um, so I've just been kind of back and forth and I've been doing markets and all of the fun stuff. And yeah, I love it. It's amazing here. I think the, it sounds weird, but there's not really any culture in America, if that makes sense. And so I love that about the UK in general. It's like, like this building is older than the country and things like that. But I think Liverpool, there's this vibe, um, this sense of like, community and and it's like super artsy but at the same time like kind of edgy and like the buildings are amazing and the music scene's incredible like food it's yeah. endless really <laughs> when i started online obviously like that's the privacy of your own home and nobody knows if you do well or don't do well um and i was a bit i wasn't skeptical because as i said i'm american and i've known that taylor swift has been um, obviously big for a long time. I'm a lifelong Swifty, so um, I'm 31, she's 33. Um, I'm from Virginia and she's from Tennessee, like grew up in Tennessee. And so like I grew up since debut with her, like so obviously from the country. And so I knew that, that Swifty made merch and like it was a big thing, but it wasn't a thing here. Um, and I thought with Aerostore coming and um, her starting to kind of take off more globally than she has before, I thought this could be a good thing. Um, so then I started it and online was fine, you know, it was all right. I started, I think, on Etsy and um, and then started a market stall and everybody told me I was crazy. And they were like, that is so niche. Like, why would people, why would you do that? You're gonna lose so much money. Like, nobody's gonna get it. So it's two separate businesses, but we do bounce a lot of ideas off yeah. each other. And as you can see, we try to make it cohesive. cohesive. Yeah, and yeah. And the reason we want to do it together is because we just fit together so well, all yeah. our stuff. Yeah. And I think it's because we're so, the same wavelength mm -hmm. as our besties. Yeah. So I started in the first lockdown, I started drawing some friends because I found online it's actually really hard to find fat female bodies and feminist art, it's not just slightly cringy. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where I started and I started doing my first ever market was at the Bond Out Church and I sold out and it's been that way ever since really. And I think Liverpool were very political people naturally and we're very artsy and we love our music and it's just morphed into that really. Honestly Liverpool's always been the most wicked reaction because we have the best sense of humour, mm -hmm. not them biased. People may get drawn in by the Taylor Swift stuff mm -hmm. but they always go oh my god oh my god and they're always mm -hmm. like all over it because as you had said um, Taylor Swift goes very much hand in hand with the community spirit of being like feminist and positive and empowering and political and all these things because um, I think it took her a while to get to that point um, but she's really recently kind of blossomed into this person that is very much like you no know, stand up for who you are and what you believe in um, you you can be that way yeah. you know so yeah. we actually I both did. have tickets so. yeah. yeah I have night one and she has night three I'm so excited um, <laughs> we're trying to if there's more tickets coming out of her I'll try to go and and night three yeah that well. would be really fun yeah. but um but yeah I know I'm I'm stoked I've yeah it's just I love her so much. <laughs> I said it's one of those things that I think you see people that I get asked a lot, like, "Oh, are you in like an actual Swifty? Are you like a new Swifty? Are you just kind of riding the trend?" Um, and I think that obviously I'm, as I said, an OG Swifty. But I think that if you are a true Swifty, it's not just her music. It's because you resonate with like her experiences and what she's writing about. And like I think my whole life, everything that she's gone through, it's been super parallel. Um, and I just really like. Is, is more than like a role model. It's like if she can make it out going through everything that she did, then like I can too. Yeah, I feel like we've grown up with her. Yeah.